Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to day two, draft one of the Arena Open. In this draft, I'm going to be playing four rounds, and if I can get three wins or more in these best of three matches, I'll qualify for draft two, where I'll be competing for up to $2,000 in prizes. So it's high stakes drafting, and let's dive right into the <laughs> full tryhard mode. Welcome to the first pack. Okie doke. Our rare is Kellen Inquisitive Prodigy, which is actually quite a good card. Um, you get a nice little two for one, a flyer that's a three four with vigilance, and uh, you can kill your opponent's clues as well, which can be useful. What else is in this pack? There's a Detective's Satchel, there is an Out Cold. Both cards are ones that I like. Other than those three, there's really nothing here for me. I think Kellen is quite good, Detective Satchel is quite good. And Out Cold is the best common. I also love Sanguine Savior, uh, but it's a little bit, like, inflexible. You really do want to play it where you can just cast it on turn three and start immediately hitting them with the flyer part. So I think I'm going to take Kellen here. Blue-green is a good color combo. This card is definitely the sort that you could splash or play a blue-green base and then splash other rares that you get. And I think Satchel is probably my second pick out of this pack. I just like taking really strong cards early for obvious reasons. Okay, so we started off with Kellen. Now pick two. I mean, Outrageous Robbery is a weird card. If you get to the late game, it can actually do some stuff. Uh, but I've had opponents that like exiled the top five cards of my library and then still lost. So not like unbeatable by any means. Undercity Eliminator is quite good and it's monocolored. Uh, I just found this card to be effective at what it's trying to do, but it's not like a game breaking card. Uh, Lightning Helix is really good and Deduce is really good. I'm just going to take Lightning Helix uh, because I, I th early in the draft, sometimes the thing I like to do is just take cards that can be the best card in my deck. And uh, even though it won't go in the same deck as Kellen, I think Deduce is enough weaker than Lightning Helix that it's just good to uh stay a little bit more uh just open to going either direction shall we say okay so now we're seeing a lot of blue cards there is sample collector agency outfitter cold case cracker out cold i do think out cold is slightly better than cold case cracker because there are some really good four drop creatures you can play and this is kind of like a just end game card or just a really good stalling piece that also plays really well not with kellen particularly other than the fact that you can immediately crack the clue but it does play really well with, uh, like, invest collect evidence cards. Deadly Complication is very strong. But Red Black isn't generally where I try to end up in my drafts. Um, so I think I'm just going to take Out Cold. I do think Sample Collector is fine. But I don't really prioritize three drops. Because getting, like, an undercover Crocodile is, like, just, you're never going to run out of three drops. I think after that I would maybe take uh, Cold Case Cracker. So far, we haven't really seen white cards here. Like, we haven't seen a single white card. Okay, now there's another Out Cold. There's a Bite Down on Crime. I think Out Cold is still better than Bite Down on Crime. Um, interesting start here, though. We're seeing a little bit of red, but these cards are all pretty bad, in my opinion. This one's sometimes playable in, like, hyper-aggressive decks. But V2 Gazi Inspector and Bite Down on Crime are both good. I like both of those. I think Out Cold. I'm, I'm pretty happy every time I cast Out Cold. Maybe I'd rather take Bite Down on Crime at some point here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to take Bite Down on Crime. I want to make sure I get enough removal. Okay, now there's a Vengeful Creeper, an Aftermath Analyst. One of the problems I have with Aftermath Analyst is it really messes up my splashing sometimes in terms of like if I mill one of my, like a lot of times I'll play like one planes in my deck to splash a white thing and then I'll have like a bunch of ways to search it out. And this guy if he mills it is pretty brutal for me. I almost always just prefer Jaded Analyst because it can trade easily. It's between that and Vengeful Creeper. But I kind of like just taking, yeah. I feel like I'll just get two drops later. I'll just take the Vengeful Creeper for now. Okay, Projector Inspector is another decent card. Curious Inquiry can also be quite good. In blue-green particularly. 
I mean, in blue-green particularly, this card's not always the best, but I do like the looting aspect. You can sometimes flood out. Okay. Fanatical Strength has definitely been a, a reasonable card. Late Sanguine Savior, but I think I'm just leaning towards this blue-green deck now. Uh, I don't really want to take Fanatical Strength. I'll just take the Hotshot Investigators. Perfect. We get a Jaded Analyst now. They Went This Way is a card that's conflicting to me. It is decent fixing. Currently, I don't have a reason to fix, though I will probably end up with something I want to splash. It's just I really like getting a 2-drop that's going to play well with Projector Inspector. I already have this little bit of worry that I'm not going to have enough 2-drops, and I did take this Vengeful Creeper over one earlier, so I have to make a little bit of Discipline picks sometimes. Then there's another They Went This Way, but I'm just going to take Aftermath Analyst if I do end up with enough Collect Evidence cards like Bite Down on Crime, which, by the way, I'm very happy I took. I'm just going to make sure I can get some self-mill. Not that I really love that card. I think this card's also fine. You know, I'm just going to take They Went This Way. I love having access to one of those. This is like a low-impact way of taking one. Mm, I'll try this. It's a sideboard card, potentially. Crocodile came back. Perfect. Agency Outfitter. I've never really felt the need to play Agency Outfitter. Six mana is big, but it makes me play cards that I don't really want to play otherwise. Okay, after Math Analyst, last pick. I feel vindicated for not taking that card ever. Okay. Nice. Evidence Examiner is just the sort of card that I want. You can actually make Aftermath Analyst a little bit less mopey. Just a 1-3 is just small. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is pretty clear. Evidence Examiner. I do like Novice Inspector. This is, this is definitely a sideboard card, though. If you do play this, um, it's very good for fueling your Evidence Examiners. You get to mess up their graveyard a little bit in those sorts of matchups. And then you can exile it from your own graveyard to collect evidence. This is maybe one of the better cards I could get if I wasn't getting a good rare. Okay, now I'll take a killer among us. I have really been impressed by this card. Just fuels your graveyard, does everything you want it to do. I think I'm pretty happy with the they went this way pick. Maybe I was supposed to take the agency card over this guy, but this is like one of my favorite disguisers. I haven't been that impressed by this guy. But the Killer Among Us is good. And I'm really happy I have this Jaded Analyst too. And I'm really happy that I have this Vengeful Creeper as well. And I like this back down on Crime Pick. I think it worked out well because I don't, I don't have that much interaction right now. Okay. So this is an interesting spot. I think I'm going to take Bubble Smuggler just because I like the two drop that can be useful late game. Audience with Tristani is actually a synergy piece with a uh, killer among us if you have two copies of a killer among us then this card can actually be playable but you don't i don't really think you get enough tokens generally speaking for it to be good especially in blue green this is also a really decent sideboard card but yeah i don't think audience with tristani is particularly playable bubbles is fine now there's another out cold i don't think flotsam jetsam is very good this card is weird, um, just super odd. But yeah, I think Out Cold is just better than Vengeful Creeper. I find that Blue Green doesn't struggle with getting good two drops. I mean, good good morph guys. I'm glad I already have one Vengeful Creeper. I think one is about the max I want to play in the main deck, and then I can just fill it out with other decent disguisers. Okay, there's a Hedge Whisperer. Definitely a good card. There's also a cold case cracker. But I think I'm just going to take the Hedge Whisperer. My 4-drop slot, I find, gets pretty jammed in these decks sometimes. And I do like having recur like recurrable ways to collect evidence to synergize with Evidence Examiner. Cold case cracker is definitely good, but I think Hedge Whisperer is like the sort of card that wins you the late game in these decks. The deuce is fine. I would definitely take cold case cracker second here. This card's decent. Culvert Ambusher is also decent. 
Sample collector. Hmm. I just don't love this card in blue-green specifically because I'm not always attacking. Though I do have this out cold. I'm just going to keep taking out colds. I do think Vidugazi Inspector is fine. But out cold is like really, really good for stalling purposes. It's like super hard to pressure you if you have like a decent number of creatures and then just a bunch of out colds. And I only ever really want one of these. Beautiful. Love locks it on eavesdropper. I already have the projector inspector. I don't need multiples of those at the moment. And this card's going to help me pull ahead. Plays well with all the clues from this. Perfect. Great time to get a sideboard card on the wheel. Beautiful. I wheeled this guy anyway. I also don't think Benthic Criminologist is terrible. Um, just 5 mana 4-5 that just lets you cash in on your extra cards right off the bat. Audience wield. We will probably not have to play that. But if we get like a, a, another killer among us, or like even like two more killer among us is somehow. Could be the sort of card that I put in. Okay, this is not a great pack for me. Um, I'm not going to splash this guy. I could, I'm honestly tempted to just take Sanitation Automaton, just to get another two drop locked in, because I don't like Aftermath Analyst. I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. I may feel like I might have preferred Benthic over this guy. What's my detective count at? Ten detectives? Maybe I was supposed to take Projector Inspectors. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good here. This guy kind of fills the role of the Benthic Investigators anyway. Case of the Locked Hot House. Nice way to just win the late game. Me and my deck might look like not that impressive in the late game. Also, by the way, so happy I have these bite this bite down on crime. It has been a very good pick for me. They went this way, maybe not going to make the cut, but this card, totally reasonable. This card's fine as well. Hmm. So I want makeshift binding. I think I'll take it over escape tunnel. But also take fanatical strength. Currently just straight blue-green. Normally I try to splash, but I don't currently have a lot of fixing. And I currently don't have a great card to splash anyway. Forensic Researcher. Cold Case Cracker. I do think Flourishing Bloomkin is quite good if you're playing like just a straight two-color deck. It's going to be pretty sizable. If I was trying to splash, I could go for the Topiary Panther. Forensic Researcher is also fine. Cold Case Cracker is definitely reasonable. Beautiful. I got a Benthic anyway. This pack was weird because we saw a lot of Novice Inspectors. But in pack one, we didn't see a single white card, so something weird happened. I'm thinking criminologists, not inspectors. So now that I am just two color, I can potentially play this. Okay. Don't really want this guy because my three drop count. I think I really do want to take the V2 Gazi Inspector. There is also Dramatic Accusation. Give me a second real removal spell. I think I kind of have to take that. Bite down on crime plus that plus a bunch of out colds can actually meet my needs. That's a little more disciplined pick than I... I mean, I would love to take the other card there sometimes. Out cold now over setback. I just think setback's pretty bad. Double blues hard sometimes and... Hmm. 
This card's actually decent, I think. Not only you can just have like this be a decent sized blocking flyer, but in the mid game against grindy matchups, it can actually just draw you a few cards. Mm -hmm. I'll just take another one of these. Wow, Cold Case Cracker came back. That's really good for me. I'm really happy about that. I was hoping to have one of those, and having that wheel was excellent. I wish I'd been able to get a V2 Gazi Inspector, but I kept having other cards that I had to take. I'm really happy that I have that dramatic accusation. So I don't think I want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Not in the main deck, at least. This gains me two life, right? Okay, so this is 45. I don't think I want they went this way because I don't really ramp into anything. This is a three, this is a three, this is a three. I think I can probably cut Aftermath Analyst. I just don't think I need it. And I don't think a two mana one three is really my meal ticket. I already have one, two. This thing can actually just be played as a two drop a lot of the time. Four or five cards that can be played on turn two. Fanatical Strength might not fit my deck's strategy, but it does play decently with this kind of out cold tempo plan. You may be wondering, oh, you have so many out colds, why don't you cut one of those? I could. It's not really a card that I love cutting, though. I just think it's good. <laughs> like, you play this on turn four, you play this on turn six, you just lock them down, buy yourself a lot of time. Hotshot Investigators could be the cut as well. Benthic Criminologist could be a cut. Kind of like just playing this and just getting to use my clues easy. Mm hmm one, two, three, four, five. I kind of like all my two drops here. Mm hmm kind of like all my three drops too. This is a tough case. A tough case to solve. Kellen is really good in this deck. Criminologist, maybe I should just cut it. Because I do have, this is a 5 drop essentially, this is a 5 drop essentially, because you want to flip them for 5 mana. And you can always just play this for 5, and a 5 mana 5-5 five, five is sometimes just decent. Coveted Falcon. This guy just draws you a card when he flips face up, because you can always just give them one thing, attack them, take it back, pretty much. And you can give them some lands in the late game. I really like these removal spells. I'm going to cut Fanatical Strength, maybe. I'm kind of a blue-green. Like, I could be a beatdown deck in some ways. Not really, but... I think I'm going to use Out Cold to push damage rather than anything else. Sample Collector is a little bit odd, but it does give me a good way to recursively use my graveyard. And... Uh, I have these out cold, so it can grow pretty decently. Um, I could cut case of the locked hothouse. Play lands and cast creatures, so that's like my entire deck. And with clues, you can often cycle past your dead zones there. Bite down on crime. I am a little bit light on that removal. <laughs> Jaden Analyst doesn't necessarily play that well into my game plan, but I just like having it against the aggro decks. I feel like I could struggle against those, and it can also chip in for damage in the mid to late game. Projector Inspector is great in my deck because I have so many detectives. I have nine. 
Um, Benthic Criminologist is probably my weakest card. So I'm going to do that for now, and we'll see how it does. I'll see you folks in the games. Before I get to the games, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support my content over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Volos. Patrons are those individuals who enjoy my content and decide to give back, support the channel, and help me make more videos in the future. There's a free tier over on the Patreon, so you can learn a bit more about it before deciding if you do want to join. But I do want to give a special shout out to those who do join, especially those at the credits level. It really does make a big difference and helps me make more videos. If you are enjoying my content, Patreon is the best way to support the channel and help me make more content going forward. But without further ado, let's get to the games. Welcome to round one. We'll play first. Okay, we mulligan that easily. We'll keep this, though. I'm actually going to ditch Bubble Smuggler. No, I'm going to ditch. I kind of want to just ramp up and then try to do something crazy. But I still think I should probably just get rid of a land here. I need to draw one land in my first two draw steps, and that'll help me. Because I'm just going to lead with this thing, I think. Beautiful. So turn three, we've got a Kellen. They have Leering Onlooker. Oh, black, green. Fester Leech. Play my 5-5. Five, five. We'll send in my sample collector. Okay. They have soul innervation. Okay. Murder. They're splashing blue, too. Looks like they don't have anything else to do on their turn, so I'm just going to chill. Beautiful. So now I'm just going to pull ahead with this thing. So I can buy two lands every turn. And... Sure. Slice. Like, I'm in very good shape here. Mm. 
I'm gonna ditch the bubble smuggler. I'm just gonna give them one of my lands. Oh, I can play this. I'm just gonna name Goblin. Next turn I can use this, and this. They have multiple extracts, they have two constructs. I like just getting more info on their deck. Rot farm. Okay, their deck is bad. <laughs> That's one of those things where you're just like, okay, you do not usually want to be playing Rot Farm Mortipede. I'll tell you that much. Okay, my deck still has plenty of cards in it. Boom, got the win. So they have a lot of removal spells. Two extract, a slice, a murder. They're splashing blue for something. Kind of makes me not want fanatical strength if they have all these removal spells. <sighs> Just a hexproof 2-5. That's not going to really do much, I don't think. Benthic is just a big creature, but it's just going to get killed by the make me sacrifice a card. My deck is just rock solid. Rock solid. I've got a couple of rares, but they're not like absurd. Okay, this is fine. I'm going to ditch Hedge Whisper because early game it doesn't do much. I'm just going to play this guy. They have... Yeah, they have their island out here. Or Trotta, okay. Hmm. They're going to get their cloak on, which is kind of annoying. The trot is really good.
Especially if they're splashing, playing it on turn three is really good. this time. I could have named Goblin again. Wow, they do have some good cards. gonna do that oh my gosh they have massacre girl too that's not actually, that's actually really bad news for me so they get a free tutu for me or they get to draw a card Sure, I'll give them a card rather than a 2 2. Or I just don't have ways to kill this. Wait, what? Oh, this is also an assassin? Oh my gosh. Well, that's really bad. I'm screwed if, if they draw that card in game three. Nice. We're back in it. Gosh. Even though they're only getting back one creature, that's still pretty brutal.
Oh my gosh, they have my coveted falcon. Dang it. At least I can kill the bird. This falcon would have been able to get me back my guys. This is so brutal. They have played one island this whole game. I haven't seen any fixing in their deck. I've just seen them play this one island. And yet they had this on turn three. I need to draw out colds and just start chaining them. Okay. Well, there's one out cold. So these are the two newest ones. And this one's a guaranteed slipper, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh my gosh, what? Tap two, block one of them. Okay, I'm not technically dead, but basically I was gonna cry. Well, this is going to be a nightmare. I this the after the first game, I was feeling pretty okay. They're playing Rot Farm Mortipede in their deck, but then they just have like some really, really, really good cards. Yeah, I'm just going to see and go to the next game. I'll look at what all their face down guys are. Hitting my Falcon is one of their face down guys when Falcon is so good against the Trotta. They have a Night Drinker Maroi. Okay, now I'm a little bit more scared because they have like must kill threats and blue green does not kill things very well. Long goodbye. Fairy Snoop, Rakish Scoundrel. I have had to mulligan both games. I know most of their cards. Um, shucks. I'm gonna put put in Hot Shot Investigators again. Gonna play one of these maybe. Try and uh, nab their key targets to mess up with their Macabre Restoration card. We play both those even. Could play Fanatical Strength to help play against Slice from the Shadows. 
But they have long goodbye too, so fanatical strength is probably a no go a no go. Um Shucks, what do I even cut? Um Hmm. What to cut, what to cut. Could cut. Well, I'm not going to bring in both of these. I'll bring in one of those. Cut this. Cut this. Oh, that was dicey. That was dicey. Ventral Creeper just doesn't seem to have good targets. Come on! Why? Why do I always have to be the one mulliganing? Oh my gosh! Well, I'm keeping this. I guess I'm in a ditch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Love it when the, the stakes are highest, you draw the worst. But that was a really good draw. That was a really, really good draw. I needed the forest to keep this game somewhat competitive. Just gonna get my clue right away. I do like out cold here, like I need dramatic accusation to kill some of their cards. They don't have their island this game, which is huge. They didn't see any fixing. That's kind of my big hope is that I can beat them down. Topiary paint there, sure. So they do have their one island now. But we're on the front foot. We have five power in play and they have no power in play. Sure. Okay, play this. ditch this guy, I think, just so I can get another clue. Sure. Got rid of Rakish Scoundrel. Vanifar. I really need to draw an island here. Beautiful. Great tapping work there, team. Hedge Whisperer, sure. Murder. Cool, I'm gonna get 
get another clue. I have five clues right now. Okay. Murder. Okay. They left that on top. Okay, that's a huge draw. They can untap their Hedge Whisper and then use it again. And then hit me for... Five, nine, ten. Gosh, I needed to just draw lands this game to sack these clues. I would love to just rip another cold, uh, out cold off the top to win this game. Come on, out cold. I'm just going to lose. Gosh darn it. Tried hard. Gosh darn it. Uh. 
This flyer is the really annoying part. There's all the lands I needed. <laughs> it's just so brutal that I... I'm just dead on board, I think. I got so many clues from my evidence examiner, but I could never sacrifice them. Because I wasn't hitting land drops. Oh, if I had just hit my land drops this game, I think I would have been able to win. I would have had way more cards. I would have had way more ability to do stuff. I was feeling really good after game one, and then this game they didn't even play any of their good spells. I'm dead on board. Gosh darn it! Oh, it sucks to just mulligan every game. You're just like, ah, oh. it just like gives you like a 10% deficit every game for no reason. Block there. Double block there. Dead on board. Just frustrating. So frustrating. Got rid of Vanifar at least. Flourishing Bloomkin did not do much there. I do didn't draw enough force. Doesn't matter. Great, great. You love it. You love to see it. Dang it. I'm so fr I'm so sad. Welcome to another round. I have to keep this, I think. Not gonna hopefully I I'm glad I didn't have the mulligan four games in a row. It's beautiful, even though this hand is pretty awful, like because I can't cast my spell. If I don't draw an island here, I'm in real rough shape. Of course. Why wouldn't they have Ooh, nice. Um, it's weird, weird case. I'm going to get rid of the case, the locked hot house. It's sad though. Cause this is like one of my best cards. Just don't know what else I'm supposed to get rid of. Sure. Okay, at least partial regrets on uh, getting rid of case already. But this is like my only removal spell. One of my only two. Getting rid of this guy especially.
Novice Gardener, sure. Nervous Gardener. Oh no, they're playing four colors. Blue-green usually splashes a lot, but I just didn't see any good cards to splash. And I didn't really have fixing to just do random white splashes for extra removal. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Would've been pretty good if I just ate their guy randomly there. That would've been pretty neat. Sure. Nice. Ooh, that's good. I really could have just killed the Hedge Whisperer there. It was a close call between playing more threats and just, like, dramatic accusation, shuffle their guy. I feel like that's the easiest way for them to trigger Chalk Outline and Insidious Roots, potentially. Dang it. We win game one again. Hmm. Weird decision taking out a two drop when I'm bringing in a combat trick. There's, my deck has just got pretty decent cards across the board. I love magic. Just mulliganing every game is so satisfying. Just the best. Why wouldn't I want to start with six cards against seven every single game?
mean, I guess I didn't mulligan last game. That was nice. The ring you pick your poison against me? Sure. As you can see, I'm a little bit frustrated. kill this, so I think I'm just going to tap it for a turn. And out cold it or whatever. They're getting their swamp. Why do I always draw all islands when I draw this card? It could be a two minute four four if I draw in the opposite direction. This is a close call on which one I'm supposed to kill first. Great, great, yep. Gonna definitely bring back in my fine guy. Did I cut him? Great, 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 great.
So this is now a lethal threat if they don't block it. So now I have one, two, three, four lethal attackers coming in, I think. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, that's game. Got him. Could have blocked here, maybe. I just don't want them to get this thing going. Win. Nice. There we go. See you folks next round. Welcome to round three. We get to keep our hand. Keeping pretty much any spell on top there. That is the downside of Automaton. Just getting absolutely pwned. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna have to take out the Automaton because of that. Feels like almost game. We're just so far behind now. Not much to say there. <sighs> Trying to think if I should bring in Fanatical Rage or something, but... Or Fanatical Strength. Plus three, plus three. It's just so hard to use it when you're on the back foot. Oh my god. I need to win the die roll against them, I think, to have a really good shot. <laughs> or have a hand that has, like, more spells in it. Gosh. This has been a 
a rough draft for my psyche. I was feeling so good after that first game. I was like, man, we just kind of savaged that deck. And then it turned out that they had like a bunch of rares that I hadn't seen. And I also couldn't get a good opening hand. I mean, my opening hands have been pretty subpar, I think. I mean, that last one was fine. I just didn't draw well out of it. And they had Orangutan to just own me. Like, if my automaton sticks around, I just block their guy. They play, like, their rage, maybe, but they didn't need to play rage. They would have just played another creature. Like, this is a good hand. I've got all the things I need. I might be favored this game with this opening hand if their hand isn't, like, unbelievable. Like, that's a really good card to draw, too. I'm playing this instead of this because I don't really need to get rid of my land, so I don't have anything to loot away. Probably gonna end up biting this down on crime. That could have been a good turn to play the projector inspector. Just to uh, get an attack in. Sure. I figured they wouldn't double block. <laughs> the ward triggers twice, that's funny.
Just trying to push through some damage here. Reckless detective, sure. That's pretty good with uh, Danny, Damie, or whatever. Delny, I get to do this twice. I think I ditch this, play land, kill this. Kill this maybe? Attack with everything, which is three, six, 10. A single good counter. So this thing's already going to be big. This thing's going to get a counter. This thing can get jumped there, though. They have to jump here, probably. Maybe I was supposed to use my sample collector to do the punching. So now my flyer's lethal. I can't block their ground, guys. If they do kill my flyer, I get to then trigger my Jaded Analyst to attack with that. And it has Menace. And I can also put a counter on it with Sample Collector. Hmm. I haven't really seen any removal. Sure. I have other detectives, so I'm not going to play my land out.
So they have to double block this guy. Chump this guy. Okay. They have no cards in hand. I don't know if this was correct. This could have actually been a huge punt. Now if they draw shock, I lose almost. Or I don't win. Okay, they have this fugitive dealer guy. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, well, shucks. On the draw, I might bring in that guy, even though he's bad. Might bring in this guy. 2 5 hex proof. Deals with the Delmi creatures pretty well. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna bring in fanatical strength. Aftermath analyst. And cut. Culvert Ambusher. And Crocodile. I kinda wanna cut Case of the Locked Hot House, but at the same time I really don't. Because that card is pretty good for me to win the late game if I can get there. And I want to have a like ability to do that. This is a great opener against them. They're mulliganing too. Oh, that's a huge relief. Them mulliganing and me having a good hand are a great recipe right now. And pick your poison is so good against them. Play this guy. Bloomkin can be a two mana three three here. I don't want to use this to kill a bigger flyer, but. Because my falcon can kill that other guy. Oh. That's fine. I'm ready to block this scapegoat. I really hope they play like Lamasu or something. I always feel like I play this guy like the wrong way. Like I feel like because you can always just play it as like a two minute three three or things like that. It's sometimes hard to figure out when you're supposed to do that. Oh, they ditched Lamasu. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. 
Okay, now that they have only one card in hand. Oh, there's a sorcery. Oh, duh. Okay. Well then. Flip this. I'm just going to flip this guy this turn. They're trying to get empty handed so they can trigger this. Polonius. Oh, that's funny. They're gonna give me back my guy. Gosh, makeshift binding's really annoying here. So now I've got a big case and they've got a big case. But I think they're a little bit ahead right now because my life total is lower. Luckily, out cold is a really good equalizer in these scenarios. So giving them a land probably wasn't best. Oh, great. I take seven. Oh no, they have a combat trick too? Oh my gosh. Well, at least. At least. Uh, yeah, jeez. That's not great. Huge. Hitting two lands off that. So I can so I have four, five, six, seven.
I'm just going to out cold. Keep it as safe as possible. They don't even sack their clue, interesting. Oh, because of the upkeep, they discard their hand. Ah, uh, it's so intense. Sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to tap those two. Maybe I'm supposed to tap bystander and scapegoat or something. Dang it, they have a combat trick again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I still killed our guy though, luckily. Yes. Well, that's a big draw. I think I'm fine on the drawing card with that for now. Jeez Louise. They just did they've gotten to use every single card every single time they've drawn. I need to make sure I don't deck myself accidentally. Third 18 cards, I'm at 13. They have six more turns. Eventually they're going to hit some lands, right? They have four, eight lands in play. Right, opponent? Four, eight. Nope, why would they ever draw...
So I have literally tapped down their entire team for two turns, it feels like. Okay, let's just hope they draw three lands here. Hi, right, this is the biggest turn of the game for now. Nice, they're cracking a clue, that's a good start. I mean, they're going to draw something here, probably. Oh, they do have a lot of lands in their deck. I have three, six... Sure. The only making their creatures hard to block is so scary for me. Like, I might just be dead here because of that. Okay, I'm still alive. Okay, that's actually problematic. Three, six. So they're at 18. I have three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. Can't quite kill them. Start by drawing a card, see what I find. Give my guy Vigilance anyway. That's a good draw. Oh, man. So I can block there. I've got a block, two block, three blockers for that guy. I just have to hope they don't have two shocks at this point. I'm just going to rely on uh, my out cold to keep me safe here. I have four blockers. I'm at four. 
I'm going to tap down both of their attackers before combat. And I have this thing to help me push through the last points of damage to win the game. And this thing to flip face up. And kill this. Sure. Okay, I can still win through that, yeah. Oh, what a win. Oh my gosh. Remember when I was like, oh yeah, case of the Locked Hog House, make sure I don't lose the late game. Oh my gosh, it took every card. Every card we got there. Oh my gosh. What a win. See you folks next round. Welcome to the final round. Well, we can keep this because we have these disguisers to play. That's the benefit of the disguisers. You can always play them face down. Not where you always like to be, the turn one mask maker. Getting some value. I should have just played this guy. Oh, literal worst case scenario. That's not good. Polonius Rage into another Disguiser? Oh, no, into that guy. 
Hmm. Let's just hope this guy can stall. Oh, man. Mask Maker plays really well with Felonious Rage. That's a great little synergy piece. Because you get your Mask Maker on turn one, then they trade off with it. They can't just, like, let you keep hitting them. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Love that for you, opponent. I feel like I rarely choose human. Oh no. Well, I'm going to have to use dramatic accusation on that. That's actually okay for me. Oh, please just attack with the Thopter. So now this thing can get back a creature. Dang it! Oh my gosh, Gearbane just owning me every single game! Why? This one's just over now. Gearbane just... Dominated me, killed my best blocker, and... Ah, it's so frustrating, because... 
feel like a lot against like a deck that doesn't have Gearbane Zombie, it'd be fine. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm just gonna concede. Alley Assailant, good to know about. Oh my gosh. They have multiple cards to use the graveyard and the life gain can matter, I think. Kind of max punished, because if I had a creature, this hand would be so much better. So punished on both fronts. I mean, if they have the Gearbane, I really don't want the two mana to play, but... Okay, that kind of worked out anyway. Get my evidence game on. Red Black can be a pretty fearsome aggro deck. I'd be happy trading. Definitely just going to out cold them though. I almost clicked this guy twice, I feel like. Just might have been rough. I have so many clues, I think I can just trade this off and be pretty happy again. Same as before. Inhuman this time. Sir Conrad, okay.
This is whenever creature card leaves their graveyard. Okay. I'm just going to hold up sacking a clue and fanatical strength. Pretty good for me. Oh no, they have the reconstruction. Dang it. I think I'm going to play the land so I can potentially flip this and play this if I draw another land. It's the one that does too. This is morph one, right? Yeah, disguise one. Okay. Sure. <sighs> They're down on board, that's why I'm just doing this fast. Okay, we're in the game three.
On the draw, I'm going to shave a land and bring in that cease. The life gain feels relevant. Vengeful Creep is just a much more defensive card than the Crocodile Elf. Because you can just play it as a 5 and a 5 5, I guess. You can play this as, I guess, as a 6 9, yeah. I kind of want to bring in this card, too. The reason I'm bringing in that card is because I don't think I have time to sack clues, but I have time to generate clues sometimes. Oh, man. It's dicey. It's a dicey sideboard choice, but, you know, sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Okay. Huge that they don't have a two-drop. Absolutely massive. This is the sort of game that I really want to play against them, where they just don't do much. Sure. I could have just played my guy out. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. For no value is great. I'm just gonna try to hold up this cease this 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 la, 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 this cease desist now. This is going to be really good. And I have some life gain in my deck now. I've got this to stall. I think I'm going to win this. Oh my gosh. After that devastate, this has been an emotional roller coaster. But I think I'm in the driver's seat now. Because remember, I'm at functional 18. Sure. Oh, this could mean they have the Macabre. This is an instant, thank goodness. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh. Just absolutely sideboard tech to oblivion. We got him.
That is how you sideboard, baby. Yes! This is Sparta! Oh my gosh! We just crushed them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll take the five. And then I'm just going to tap their guys for the rest of the game. Oh my word. What a performance. I have five, six, seven, Gonna tap their guys. Yes! Oh, and then we just tap the guys here. Three, six, eleven. Put an extra stun counter on their guy. Yes! Woo! We bounced back. We battled. Yes, I did have fun. What a comeback. Oh my gosh, the sideboard tech. So good. Oh my gosh, I saw the macabre reconstruction. I looked at my sideboard. Yes! Oh my gosh, what a victory. We lost the first match. We lost the first game of match two, and then we just rallied. Oh my gosh. Cease to assist. Boom! The most brutal... Oh my gosh, I gained two. Exiled both their guys from their graveyard. And countered their Macabre Reconstruction. Oh my gosh. Because this thing was going to get back two things, it was almost like a three for one. Because it also drew me a card. Oh, and the life gain mattered. Oh my gosh. Yes! What a win! Woo! Baby! Let's go! I mean, it doesn't get sweeter than that. Oh, we got crushed game one, and then game two, we got him! Yes! Oh my gosh. Yes! Well, <laughs> if you watched the... This was an emotional roller coaster, as I said. What a performance! The sideboard ceased assist to heck. I can't even see... It's over here. Yes! Oh my gosh, I've never played this card in my life until then. What a... Per oh my gosh, yes! If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're watching on YouTube, uh, in the comments, the only place you could be watching this, I'm so used to saying that because of the streaming stuff sometimes. But yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave hashtag cease in the comments section down below. because Or just cease for the win. Or desist for the win. No, it wasn't desist, it was cease. Hashtag cease for the win to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, or just leave hashtag the sideboard tech because that was so awesome. What a way to win the final game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you folks in my next draft where I'll be drafting for the $2,000. And uh, I'll have one life in that one. But oh my gosh, that was such a sick win. Holy heck. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I, I did. I'm not as proud of some of my mentality there in the middle stages, but I was still playing well, at least for the most part. So even though I was a little bit glum, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the, the ending because that was quite, quite the finish. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.